Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well at home. My name is Derek, pleased to meet you. I'm just filling in for Janine today for your Express uh, Sculpt workout, okay? So looking forward to it. If you're watching the recording, you can watch at home, come in live, okay? We have lots of options here at this club, so making sure you're using that uh, video library. Before we start, just make sure you have your water, for sure, it's hot out there, make sure you're staying hydrated, you got a towel, got your mask and a collection of dumbbells, whatever you have at home, okay? Um, if you don't have any weights, we'll show you some modifications, or if you've got any injuries, we'll, we'll try to show you some workarounds as well. Okay, so it's an express workout, let's get to it. We hit a full body today, but let's start off with a warm up. Just want us to start nice and easy, just swinging the right leg back and forth. Now, if you struggle with balance, you can hold on to something here as well. Hold on to a chair or hold on to the sofa. But we're just going to swing that leg back and forth, mobilizing the hips. Three, two, one. We're going to switch sides, okay? Just swinging that left leg back and forth. And I want you to start off small, but gradually go higher as you go. Okay, it's as high as you like. Three, two, and one. Okay, all we're going to do next now is just coming into the shoulders, reaching up, and then coming back down. Okay, nice and big. I want you to spread your fingers out here as well. Spread the fingers out. Three, let's do five. That's four. We'll do one more. Okay, now let's reverse it. Come back in, big swoops, one, big swoops, two, three, four, and five. You can take this to either a march on the spot, keeping a nice upright torso, or you can take it to a, just a little jog, just getting that heart rate up a little bit. Good arm movement here. Okay, so you can march or you can jog. So then all we're going to do is kick the heels up at the back. You can do it standing or you can do it into a jog if you like. Three, two, and one. We're going to take the hands. We're going to reach through the legs, keeping the back straight, and then come on up again. Just warming up the back of the body here. Activating the glutes as well. Just squeezing the glutes every time you come on up. Okay, keep that back straight. Don't want to be rounded here. Keeping that back nice and straight. Three, two, and one. Just coming into a little rotation. All I want you to do, shoulder width stance, just a little turn. Just making sure that your lower back in particular feels good here. And if you're a tennis player or a golf player, you know, this is a nice little warm up to do as well. Just to loosen up before you play. Three, two, and one. We're going to come into the hip flexors. Front of the leg. Six step back with your right foot. Reach up to the ceiling with the right hand. Even spread your fingers apart. Just lean to the left. Just getting into the pocket here. This is nice if you've been sitting down at the office all day or you're a little tight. Beautiful one to do. All right, let's switch again. Step back with the left foot. We're going to reach up with that left hand and I lean to one side. Really feel this in along here. Three, two, one. Let's do one more of those. See now if we can reach a little bit more. So I'm just gonna try and reach a little bit more to the corner. Four, three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Taking that step back. Reach up and lean. Really feel this in the side. Four, three, two, one. One, fantastic. All right. Now, all we're going to do here, guys, is just take into a lateral lunge. When you step to the left side of your mat, all we're going to do is step with the right foot. We're going to drop down, a little bit of a groin stretch. Let's push back, okay? 20 seconds here. Take your time. All right, take your time. Just go as low as you're comfortable with. Down you come, little drop. Two more. Let's do one more. A little drop, push back. We come to the other side of the mat. All right, take your time, take the step, little drop, push back to standing. And do whatever you feel like with your hands. They could be on the hips, they could be out in front, they can be crossed, whichever you like. Two more. 
Let's do one more. Nice, guys. All right, we're going to come into an inchworm. All right, so you're going to come to the end of your mat. You can use a little knee bend here if you like. All right, so you can bend the knees slightly, or if you're feeling good, you can go straight legs. We're going to come on down. We're going to walk it out. All right, to the top of a push-up position. And I'm going to walk it back. When we come to the top, we're going to squat down as low as you can go. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to walk it out. Hold it here, two seconds. Walk it back. Nice stretch in the hamstrings. Come to standing. Full squat. We've got five to do. We've got three more. So walk it out. Keep your abs tight here. Don't let the hips drop. Walk it back. Come to standing. Drop down. Two more. I'm definitely feeling I'm loosening up now a little bit more. My hamstrings are feeling a bit looser, especially as I walk back. Drop down. One more, guys. Come on down. Tight abs. Walk back. And then we're going to come to that full squat. And just to get the heart rate up, guys, just for 15 seconds before we get into our weights, let's just move nice and quick here. Nice and quick. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Super job. All right. You should be nice and warm after that. An express workout, so we're moving quickly. All right. The first exercise we're going to do today. We're going to work for 45 seconds with a 15 second rest. Three exercises to do. Okay. Three exercises to do. The first one we're going to do. You can use your weights at home. It can be a goblet squat if you have a weight. Down and up. You can always do body weight. Okay. If you're on, so go as heavy as you like. All right. 45 seconds of action. Okay. Are we ready to go? Weights just beneath the chin. If you are holding on to it, get a good stance. Heels are down. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're coming down for three seconds. Up for one. Down for three seconds. Up for one. Now the reason we keep this weight just beneath the chin, if I drop the weight, you see how I round? Whereas if I keep that weight up, my back stays straight. If you are using those dumbbells, make sure you're doing that. Or if you're squatting body weight, cross your hands over your shoulders. Drive down, drive up. 10 seconds, gang. Keep it coming. Beginning to feel those legs now. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to come onto the floor to a floor press, kind of like a bench press. If you're lying down, you can use one weight or you can use two. Okay, head is back. Are we ready to go? So it's going to be up for one, down for three, two, one. Let's go. We're up for one, down for three. I exhale as I come up, I breathe in as I lower. Now in terms of the grip that I'm using here, I'm using a neutral grip, so my palms are facing each other. Just a little safer on the shoulder, but there's nothing wrong with this guy either. If you want to go palms down, that's okay. If you suffer from any shoulder issues, just stick with the neutral one. And you'll notice the difference there. Head is back, working well. We got another 10 seconds, guys. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come on out of it. We're gonna come up to standing. Now we'll do a bent over row. If you find that the bent over row is too aggressive, you can always use a band and do a seated row. Or if you're still with me, you can do a bent over row. Bent over row, we take our dumbbells in hand. We're gonna pull, we're gonna come back down. All right, are we ready? Three. Two, one, let's go. Pull up, come down slowly. So this can be tough on the lower back for a lot of people. If you find here that you need a break, you can just stand up for a second if you like, okay? Really working the whole back of the body here. Keep it going here. You need to feel that burn out, 10 seconds. Looking at maybe a medium or light set of dumbbells. Six, five, four, three, two, 
One, let's stand and rest. 30 second breather, guys. That's our first set with three exercises. We're gonna do two more sets, okay? So working our legs, our chest, and our back. The fact too that we're taking limited rest means that we're working our heart rate also, okay? Starting in 10 seconds with our squat. Are we ready to rock and roll? Four, three, two, one, here we go. We're down, we drive it up. We're down, drive it up. Take your time with this, knees are out. Drive it up. Keep the heels down, really important. Keep those heels down. Every now and again, look at your toes, making sure that they can be turned out a little bit, but not too much. Keep it coming, 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Super job. Let's come into our floor press. All right, so give you a couple of seconds to come on down. Are we ready? In six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, we're up for one. We're down for three. Up for one. Down for three. So we call this tempo. All right, so we're not moving too quickly here. We're controlling the weight. And that's really going to test the muscles. Control it down. Drive it up fast. Down slow. Up fast. Keep it coming, guys. Should be getting to feel it now a little bit. 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Come back up to your feet. All right, so give you a couple of seconds just to get up and down. We're working really well here, guys. Bent over row. Let's be careful with this one. I'm still keeping that neutral grip. Palms are facing each other. In three, two, one. Bum goes back. Bend the knees, hinge from the hips. I pull and I come down slowly. I pull up, squeeze the shoulders, and I come down slow. So I'm thinking here light to medium weight. And if you struggle, as I said, with it, just stand up for a few seconds. No problem there. My lower back is working really hard here to keep me stabilized. Keep it coming, guys. 10 seconds left. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We take a 30 second rest. Making sure you're staying hydrated. Give a towel, wipe yourself down. Super job so far. Express workout, remember, so keeping the pace high here. Get a lot of bang for your buck. Can you move quickly? All right. Ready to rock and roll. Last set here. Now, if you want the extra challenge, if you want the extra challenge, I double up on the weight. Just resting on the shoulder, or you can use Use one or you can use none. Ready? Two, one, here we go. We're down and we're up. I have to fight even harder now just to keep those weights up. It's not just the legs here. Upper body is working very hard here also. Coming down into the hole, drive it up. Down into the hole, drive it up. 20 seconds. Squat as low as you can, but be mindful of your back. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, onto our floor press. Final one of these. Are we ready? Two, one, let's go. Up for one, down for three. Now, if you find at home that the, the weights are too light, my advice to you would be to go quicker. Okay, so if you're working with a medium heavy weight, you can keep it slow. 
If you're working with lighter weights and you want to go quicker, go for it. Drive it on. Keeping the weight over my chest. It's not over my neck. It's over my chest. Keep it coming. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Let's come on up. Bend over row. The last one of these, and then we'll change the exercises up. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Bum back. You should feel your hamstrings engage. We pull and down. Keeping that back straight. I always say here, you want your shoulder to be in front of your hand, okay? Your shoulder is in front of your hand. Your head is looking down. You don't want to be looking up. You want to keep that head in neutral. Squeeze in those shoulder blades. Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. Feeling it now. 10 seconds. I'm going to go fast just to finish up. Get that burn in there. Three, two, one. Fantastic, well done. And there's our block one, guys. Grab a sip of water, great job. Nice burn going on there, hopefully in the full body, legs, chest, and back. All right. So while you're resting, I'm just gonna explain the next exercise, the next sequence. We're gonna go for alternate lunges. Okay, so now we're working on one leg at a time. We're gonna step backwards. So I'm stepping back with my right foot. I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna drop up and I'm gonna switch. Okay, alternating from left to right. The weights are optional. Okay, the weights are optional. We're gonna work just like we did for 45 seconds. All right, alternating from right to left. Three, two, one, and we're in business. Here we go. We come down, drive back to standing. I want you to keep your chest up nice and tall here. Chest up nice and tall, shoulders back and down. If you find a weight too heavy, you can uh, get rid of them. And my knee is just, just dropping just above the floor. Okay, so if you struggle with your depth, you don't have to go too low. So I can always modify it by just dropping a little bit. If I want to make it harder, I can drop some more. Great job, feeling the legs now, 10 seconds. Fantastic, keep it up, five, four, three, two, one, and we rest. All right, we're gonna to come to the shoulders. You, I want, in light weight, light weight, if you have a light band also, feel free to use it. I was going to use the band. We're just going to shoulder height and back down, okay? Or you have light dumbbells, you can use them as well. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Now have a little elbow bend for yourself. You do have a slight bend in the elbow. Just coming to just above the shoulders and then back down again. Just to there, back down again. And I like to stand with one leg in front of the other. Just gives my back a little bit more support. And notice how I'm controlling the weight here. I'm not just flying through this. You're in control of the weight, not the other way around. Here we go, up, pause, down, below shoulders, you got 10 seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one, fantastic. Nice work guys, well done, well done. All right, now our third exercise. We're just gonna come to the floor, a little bit of core work. All right, we're gonna work on the hollow, this is the abs. Coming on down here, a couple of options, I can go feet straight up in the air, reaching up. If I wanna make it harder, I can go here, or I can go just off the floor. Make sure your lower back is against the ground. Whichever one you pick, lower back stays low, okay? Two 15 second holds, are we ready? Two, one, let's go. We're gonna hold for 15 seconds. Squeeze your abs, reaching up towards my toes. You'll never be able to touch them. You just wanna try and reach towards them. Three, 
two, one. We're going to rest for 10 seconds. Okay, let the abs loose. Let's do that one more time in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Feet up in the air. Reach up towards your toes. Chin's tucked in. It's like your midsummer salt. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Four, three, two, one. And we relax. You feel that there. All right, guys. Come on up. Great job. We'll go back in to our lunges again. All right, le legs are ready to rock. If you want to make this harder, you can step forwards, okay? But if I'm going to step backwards today. If your knee is bugging you, you can step backwards. It's a little bit easier, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. Step back, drop, come on up. Back, drop, come on up. Chest out, shoulders back and down. Nice and strong. And I always say with these guys, you're happy to stop after the time frame, okay? You're happy to stop, test yourself, challenge yourself, and earn that rest in between. 15 seconds. Feeling it now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and down. All right. While the legs are resting, we come to the shoulders. We go to your light weight or your band. One leg in front of the other. Abs are tight. Little elbow bend. Three, two, one. Here we go. Up and down. I'm up. Little pause. Oh, I like that pause because it really tests my shoulder here. Down slowly. Up, pause, down slowly. Whew. Concentrate, focus, fight against that burn. Now it's kicking in a little bit. Whew. Up, pause, and down. Keep it coming, feeling it now. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Great job, gang. All right. Let's work those abs. All right. Coming on to the floor. Now, I'm going to make it a little harder. Second set, I'm going to go 45 degrees at my feet. Knees are straight. And I'm going to reach up. Okay? If you find it too hard, go back to the first one. Three, two, one. Here we go. So, take your mid-summer sauce, but now your body's opening up as you dive into the water. Just open that body up a little bit. Keep holding it. Five, four, three, two, one. I rest. And second breather. Stay focused. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. These are straight. Toes pointed away. Reaching up. Reaching up. Lower back stays down. In six, five, four, three. Two and one, and we relax. All right, gang. Great job. We're gonna come back in one more time. All right, we're gonna get three sets here today. Quick sip of water. If you need extra rest, if you're watching the recording and when you need more rest, please just pause it and come back in then when you're ready. Okay? We're back in business. 10 seconds. Okay, lunges. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. We step, drop, up, change. And our third set, I'm feeling it now, right? So we're tired from our squats already. Tired from the first round of lunges. Definitely feeling the legs now. Pushing through this last set. And that's how your body's gonna respond, guys. Testing it, challenging it. Provide that overload. Great job, 10 seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and down. Ooh. Happy to stop. All right, 
Last set for the shoulders. Are we ready? One leg in front of the other. Are we ready? Two, one, let's go. We're up, pause, and down. Now, just for me to keep the tension on, a lot of people just stop by their sides. My advice to you here is come down, just stop before you touch your body. Up, come down, stop before you touch your body. Unless you need a rest, you can just relax completely. Keep the tension on. 20 seconds. Fight that burn now. Fight that burn. 10 seconds. Just to finish it off, I'm going to get that a little bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Last one for the abs, okay? We're coming on down. I'm gonna make it harder again. So this is level one, level two, level three. Now as I go lower again, I'm gonna reach my hands back behind me. Gotta keep that lower back down though, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. 15 seconds. So now you're about to dive into the water. You're nice and straight. Keep going, four, three, Two, one, and we rest for 10. Take that breather. And we go one more time. Gotta make sure that back stays down, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. If you're finding that you're losing it, lift up. Reach back, reach back. Squeeze your abs. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Well done, and a little rest. We're nearly there. We're flying through this. Flying through it. Okay, grab your water. Okay, while you're resting, I'm just gonna explain the last little bit. Okay, we're gonna hit the, what I call the beach muscles. Beach weather, beautiful outside. You're gonna hit your arms, your biceps, your triceps. We're gonna work on, the, on that core again, all right? So that's just to finish off, really dialing in the, the beach muscles as we call it, okay? Starting with a bicep curl. All right, now, I'm gonna come to standing, one leg's in front again. I'm gonna go neutral at the start. As I come up, I go palms up, okay? When you lower the weight, make sure you straighten the arm completely. Flex your tricep, come back up again, right? Try not to stop three quarters. Make sure you come all the way down, okay? Are we ready to go here? 45 seconds, three, two, one. Let's go, we're up and down. Look a little quick, quicker here now. Up for one, down for two. Up for one, down for two. Try not to rock. And you'll notice I have one leg in front of the other again, just to give that back a little bit of support to stop you from rocking. Feeling it now. Arms are feeling heavy. Keep it coming, 10 seconds. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, we're gonna come on down. We're gonna hit the triceps, all right? Skull crusher, you can use one or two dumbbells, okay? If I'm using one, hold it sideways. If you're using two, two of them are up. You're gonna come down to the side of the head, come back up again. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Down to the side of the head, push up. Now it's in the name, Skull Crusher, so make sure you don't drop that guy, all right? If you think you're gonna lose it, just put the dumbbell to the side. Really working those triceps now. Feeling the burn. Keep it coming, keep it coming. 15 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. All right. We're just gonna do a little bit of abs now. We're gonna take it to a little mini sit up. Okay, hands are on thighs, fingers past the kneecaps and down. If you have any back issues, hand under the back, one hand on your head, reach up and come back down again, okay? So that's if you have any back problems. It's only 30 seconds long. Two, one, let's go. Up, down. Let's try and move fast here. I'm gonna try and keep my hands on my legs. 
Try not to swing your arms unless you have to. Little pulses. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys, come on up. Now, just to really wrap it up, let's just come back in for those one more time and then we're gonna stretch it out. All right, 30 seconds now. We'll drop the time frame. Quick bicep curls. All right, I want to really, I want to get the pump in those arms. All right, time to bring them to exhaustion. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm going fast now, up and down. Burn those weights, sorry, burn those muscles. Fast pace. That's it, keep it coming. Keep it coming. 10 seconds. Should be struggling now at the end. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're nearly there, second last one. Same thing for the triceps. Let's go a little bit faster now, okay? But you gotta control this. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm down, up, down, up. Come on, let's work hard now. Let's, let's bring these muscles to exhaustion. Keep it going. 15 seconds, drive it up. Push through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, gang. Let's work the abs. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Come on. A million dollars for every one you do. Pretty strong. 20 seconds. You might find that your hands are lifting or your feet are lifting. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. Just while you're resting on the floor, we're just going to stretch the abs straight away. Just come on up. You don't have to go too far here. You can just come up a little bit if you like. Watch your low back. Just to stretch those abs out a little bit. Two, one, and then from there I'm going to come on to a child's pose. I'm just going to drop down. Just deep breath in here, guys. Deep breath in. Okay, just come back into that upward dog again for me. Keep holding it yourself. Just keep holding that yourself for me. Yeah. Okay, and from there then we're just gonna come into a pigeon pose, take the glutes, and we're just gonna scan. Nice little stretch here for the glutes. And you can move around if you like. Okay, just deep breaths in. When you're ready, let's switch it. Okay. Nice and easy, just scanning to one side. Deep breath in. Two, one. We're just gonna come up onto our knees, hands behind the back. Lift your chest, open up your chest. Nice job. From there, we're just gonna come into triceps. We're just gonna push down and we're gonna lean to the right. Get that nice stretch here along the lats and the side of the body. Deep breath in, we're gonna switch. Just leaning to the left. And the last one we're gonna do, a lot of holding on here at weight. One for the forearm, I love this one. Especially if you're at home with a mouse or writing all day. Palm goes down, should pull back. All right, so pulling the fingers back. So palm is up, pulling the fingers back. Should get a nice stretch here along the forearm. 
when you're ready to switch it, bend those fingers back. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. Really quick, that one. Full body, legs, chest, back, arms, abs, did the works. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Make sure you're checking out the rest of the library as well from the week, from the virtual classes. And don't forget that we've started our in-person um, classes as well on the upper deck. So make sure you're checking the schedule. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody in person. And we'll see you guys soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.